the film's amazing, guys. I had an opportunity to see it, and it's 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 very action packed, and it's sort of Groundhog Day meets Guns and Ammo. It's it's tremendous stuff. Um, Thanks, so, from from your point of view, um, as producers on the film, um, what was it about the project that sort of like drew you in to begin with? Well, I had written, you know, uh, I had a really uh, Chris and Eddie Borey, these two really talented writers had written this script continue years ago that I got up and started messing with. And I, I cause I never really uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, toiled in sci-fi before. And I thought this could be kind of interesting because it was identifiable genre, subgenre that I, that I thought we could, we could do something interesting with. And I, so I, as I was, you know, Frank and I had just done the gray and I, I wanted to work with him again. So I started kind of writing this kind of tailored made for him and, and again, people don't realize how funny he is a really funny guy. So I thought, well, we can do this and kind of bring out this. We can we can uh, uh, surprise people with something like this. So and then, you know, that began a decade long odyssey to finally bring. Oh, <laughs> uh, because he and I were kind of hamstrung by, well, you know, we need X amount to make it. And mm-hmm. neither one of you guys are worth a plum nickel. So you're going to have to do that. You know, so. <laughs> uh, you know to, swimming upstream um, and hope the bear didn't snap us out of the water, you know. So uh, obviously, you guys have you've had your production company now. I think it's going on four years, coming up to four years now. Um, uh, for you guys, how does the creative partnership work? Is it what what's the key to the success? Obviously, that you've been having with it. Uh, you know, I think Joe and I have a very similar sensibilities uh, mm. in, in many in many aspects of life, uh, but of course, creatively and. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I just usually, uh, I kind of follow Joe's lead when it comes to the material. Um, mm. It's his, it's kind of his, that's his wheelhouse and, and what he thinks he can do and wants to do, you know, with the, with the script and directorially. Um, and, and then we, we go from there and then, you know, it's like he said, sometimes, sometimes we've gotten things made uh, really quickly and sometimes mm. it takes 10 years. So uh, it's, it's been, but we, him and I, we have, a, we have an incredible trust in each other. Uh, mm. And so, and so it helps us get through all of the nonsense that is getting, you know, getting a movie financed and made and, and uh, mm. you know, you, you need the other person. We, 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 we're much better together. We're, we're successful alone. We're much better together. I was about to say guys, um, You've both been in the business a very, very long time and, and, and to, to have come this far and obviously to have had successes both in television and in film for Frank and obviously as a writer for yourself, Joe. Um, what do you think the, the key to the longevity in the industry is? Oh, I think you have to stay uh, uh, open and available to the things that are going on and, and, you, and you also have to have a, a firm belief in what you're doing and I always say this, that, you know, artistically, you know, you don't, you, we don't age like athletes, you know, you can get better and better and better. And I, think that's what you're we're experiencing is that I'm a much better filmmaker, at, you know, 50 than I was at 40 than I was at 30. And I think a much better, you know, actor than, you know, and we're both producerially. I think we understand the nuts and bolts now and how to, how to get through these things and how to surf these breaks that may, that I didn't know as a younger filmmaker, I was more concerned with, you know, um, I just had to have it in a certain way. And I think, you, you know, you, you, you ease up a little bit and you kind of, um, you know, you know how to take a punch and that's kind of what it's about. You're going to get punched repeatedly. And if you react, you know, if you go over the top every time you do, you're just not going to be, you're not going to hang around. So we're kind of committed to, to, to doing it in this way and making these types of films. It's the stuff that appeals to us and the, and the stuff that we think we can do well. For uh, obviously you, you have an icon in in the movie itself in Mel Gibson. Um, how was the working relationship for you um, it, with with uh, obviously with with Mel Gibson within the film? And also, was there anything that that happened with you um, whilst you were doing the film that maybe he brought to the movie that? Um, yeah, well, for me, listen, Mel's one of my heroes. I mean, that's mm-hmm. you're talking about. It also an absolute world-class filmmaker in his own right. So mm-hmm. there was a little bit of jitters on my part that I'm going to be directing Mel Gibson, you know, and it's like, so, but he couldn't have been more generous and more lovely and more giving of his time and his energy and his knowledge, his wisdom. So for me as a, as a director, it was just a, it was a dream. 
uh, and and he just absolutely worked his tail off. And uh, you know, there's a there's a there's a long there was a monologue that he that scene with he and Naomi that unfortunately we had to, that wound up on the cutting room floor. And I knew Bell labored over it for for you know weeks and weeks and and to, in preparation. And when I told him, I you know he he I had to go. He was immediately like, I get it, man. You have to service the movie. He didn't even he didn't even flinch. And it was just such a great to have that level of support uh, from him was dynamite. Um, I, I have to say that for me, the, the film is, it, it's very different because obviously it starts on, on lots of different, like in a continual action set piece. It's like a continual action set piece from start to finish, but it's then it's punctuated with these, these very emotional moments toward the tail end um, with, I, I believe you, your, your son played opposite you in the, in the, uh, yeah. in the movie, Frank, how, how was that for you? Oh, uh, you know, it, again, I, I, I'm repeating myself, but it was something that Joe early on had suggested. And, uh, yeah. I was, I, I had a lot of trepidation, but, but we put him through the, the process. He had to go through casting and, mm-hmm. and I then sent him to an acting coach. And, uh, it was, you know, it, the, for the exact reason why Joe wanted my son, uh, was what makes it so beautiful and that, you know, you can see my love for this yeah. child in the Absolutely. movie and it's, mm-hmm. and, it, and the camera doesn't lie, you know, it's, there it is. And, uh, to my son's credit, I mean, he was one of the more professional actors I've ever worked with. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, Joe would throw him lines and I, as a father, I would try to, you know, I wanted to help him. And he would say, you know, dad, when the director tells me something, I'd just rather keep it between him and I. And I'm like, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so was it was it his first was it his first time in, in front of the cameras? It's it was his first he's been a neophyte uh filmmaker since he's four. Mm. And uh he was ten when we made the movie. And you know, he had his own little production company. He was remaking Spider-Man at the time. But and Joe knew this, and and uh, I think he Joe, he would ask Joe some questions when Joe would when he'd see Joe, but uh but uh, he was he was I, he was great. I, I you know, I'm, I'm so proud of of what he what he did. I mean, he was he was really terrific. Something something literally just occurred to me, guys, um, in terms of comparisons, his performance is very naturalistic. And, and you are obviously the relationship you have brings something really different. And you are really different in this film as well. It was a complete surprise to me uh, yeah. in terms of uh, of what you brought and obviously the humor that you brought. Um my comparison was going to be um, from um, Pursuit of Happiness, the Will Smith, Jaden Smith. And it's that level of connection that it stops the film in its tracks for me, you know, and they're really, so kudos to you guys. My yeah. last question, because I've been told to, to wrap up, uh, is off topic. Can you both describe for me your perfect Sunday afternoon? Oh, wow. You know, with, with my kids, if I have my kids, I'm fine. Whatever that is, whatever that yeah. is, my kids around me, and uh, whether it's pissing rain or it's or it's a hundred degrees outside, as long as my kids are there, I'm, I'm good. You know, and yeah. so I'm I'm uh, great. I I, I I echo the same thing. If if I can hang out with my sons and uh, I they don't care what, where, when, why, how, but uh, there's a there's a certain you know, I'm, I'm there's a certain feeling of being centered and in the right place whenever I'm with my kids. So mm. that's it. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Doesn't have to be difficult. Doesn't have to be complicated. Thank you very much for your time. And best of luck with the film. Again, thank you. Take care now. Martin, thank you, brother. Bye-bye now. Cheers.